Hey everyone, it's Chris here at Engine. In this video tutorial, we'll be having a quick look at cumulative discounts. So what exactly are cumulative discounts? Well, once the user makes a purchase in your store, the purchase price will be offset against any future purchases. For example, I've recently purchased the iron rank from the store module, which costs $1. And as you can see, that $1 is now offset against the gold and diamond rank. The gold rank, originally $3, is now $2, and the diamond rank, originally $5, is now $4, with the $1 offset. And, by nature, if a user were to purchase another iron rank, for example, the total offset would then be $2. If they were to purchase another iron rank, the total offset would be $3. Cumulative discounts give users a nice incentive to keep making purchases on your store. To set up the discounts, just head over to the store's admin panel. Under the store category, you'll see the current items listed. To enable discounts, just hit settings in the corner. On the settings page, scroll down until you find cumulative settings. Under this section, you need to make sure the option cumulate item purchases inside this category is ticked. You also have the option to enable cumulative discounts on point based items. Since we have no point based items on our store, we're going to leave that option blank. You also have the option to choose how cumulative mode should apply, whether that be to the Minecraft account or to the Engine account. Once you have your desired options, just hit Update Category at the bottom. If you recall back to the shop, you may remember the Iron Rank was now free with cumulative discounts. To avoid this type of behaviour on items, there are a few settings we can enable. Find the item in question and hit the Edit button on the right. In the settings window, scroll down until you find the option Minimum Price After Cumulative Discount. Here you can set a minimum price for items which, when met, discounts will stop applying. Or you can simply check the option below, hide this item if cumulative discount equal or exceeds the item value. With that option enabled, if we head back to the store and refresh the page, the iron rank will now be hidden. Another useful option which we'll now cover is related to sales. Firstly, let's head over to the Sales tab and create a quick example sale. We'll call this sale 10% off and we'll have the sale apply to the diamond rank. The option we're interested in in this example is the Disable Sales for Users with Cumulative Discount. Checking this option will simply hide sales from users who've acquired discount value. Two final settings we'll have a quick look at can be found under the Settings tab in general. The first option we'll take a look at is only consider money paid versus item price in cumulative mode. With this option enabled, if there was a coupon or sale or the user had acquired discount and paid less than the item price, this would look at money paid versus the actual item price at purchase. One final option we'll look at in this tutorial which indirectly applies to cumulative discounts is the force minimum cart value. To find this option, scroll down to the bottom of the settings page. Enabling this option will simply add a minimum spend limit regardless of discounts or coupons. And that's it. In this video tutorial we've covered all options which either directly or indirectly apply to cumulative discounts. We hope you've enjoyed this quick video tutorial brought to you by Engine.